So this is a second video in a series on custom chart modifiers and in this video we're going to show you how we've implemented a simple zoom and pan modifier and a simple zoom in and out using um, keyboard operators to uh, perform this function. Let's have a quick look at the code. So if you recall from our previous examples we have a custom modifier sandbox and we've created a number of modifiers and we've put them in a group sort of to uh, demonstrate them. And then in each video we're taking you through these modifiers one at a time. So this one let's have a look at the simple zoom pan modifier. So first up the simple zoom pan modifier inherits chart modifier base. If you recall from our previous video, the chart modifier base has got various members like uh, mouse down, move up, touch events and properties to access the parent surface. You can find our API documentation online by going to the website and clicking on this API reference button right here. So in this example we have over, overridden modifier mouse down on modifier mouse move and on modifier mouse up and we're simply storing a point or nulling it to signify the start and end of the zoom or the pan operation and during mouse move we're computing the delta in pixels and we're scrolling the x and y axis. So it's a really simple implementation you can see it's only about 50 lines of code. Um, the parent surface is accessible from the chart modifier base and x-axis has got methods like uh, scroll, um, zoom, etc. You can also see this on our documentation. If you have a quick look for i-axis or axis base, you can see the members and properties which are here. So the axis has got methods like scroll, scroll by, scroll to, and zoom. So you can actually do quite a lot um, on a per axis uh, basis. And in addition to that, you don't just have to access, uh, access one x axis or y axis, there's also the collection which can be accessed through the parent surface if you have multiple x and y axis. So this implementation is pretty simple. We simply um, we compute a delta and then we scroll in the x and y, and that gives this result. So that's great, but how does the keyboard one work? I mean, that was, that's quite interesting, and natively SciChart doesn't have keyboard in its modifier, so some people would like to add that. We created another modifier called Simple Zoom In Out modifier, and this also inherits chart modifier base, and it has a zoom fraction property which defaults to 0.1. Now, we override the method on attached. This method is fired whenever the chart modifier is attached to its parent and as a little bit of a hack what we've had to do is we've had to walk up the visual tree to find the parent window and subscribe to its key down events. I believe this is something we can improve on in SciChart. Uh, SciChart doesn't seem to be firing the key events. Um, it's possibly because it doesn't allow um, tabbing or focus. So we walk the visual tree and we subscribe to key down on the parent window and then in the key down we say look is it a plus key and control is selected if so we're going to set our zoom factor like this if it's a subtract key we're going to set our zoom factor like this then immediately below we zoom all of the axes by the same zoom factor and we're passing in a time span so that we do an animated zoom so if you have a quick look at the signature here the zoom by is used by our mouse wheel uh, modifier and we set the same factor to the min and max. So if, if you set zero and, and a value here you would only zoom in um, the top edge of the axis but we set the same factor to both so we're zooming in and out. So this is the net result. Two modifiers literally we're talking less than 150 lines of code and you can add this behavior and also the behavior where you can zoom in and out with a nice animated zoom by pressing control plus and control minus. So you can see from the API documentation about chart modifier base and also the axis interactivity methods, there's an awful lot you can do if you wanted to have custom zooming or panning in SciChart 